Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Oh, we had two cards fly out already. Um, if you're new, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Um, personal reading links are in the description box below and everything else you need. Um, so if you're a Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus, these readings will be for you. And hey everybody in the chat, hope you're doing well. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Two cards fell out, <laughs> clock and seduction. Um, need time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal, progress, and seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. Oh, Virgo, so much drama. If you did not check out or you have not seen yet my Blood Moon reading, um, the last reading I did, I did it, the last upload before this one, go check that out. Somebody might need to hear that. So twin flames, yin yang, zen, balance. Okay, <laughs> Virgo. So it's just a matter of time. Your twin flames coming in to seduce you. Oh, lovely Virgo, lovely. Okay, um, the cycle's coming around again going to be progress okay for some of you it's a libra oh boy okay the empress let's see coupling union duality somebody might be having somebody might be getting pregnant doesn't have to be you it could be somebody else i feel like there's somebody here to know it's scorpio energy there's somebody here who's feeling a huge loss having a lot of regret, despair, feels guilty, remorseful. Um, they lost the best thing they ever had. And this person, they were extreme, like they felt they were, hmm, okay. So that seduction, like just extremely attracted to you, somebody here, extremely, there might've been a third party, and they got seduced by something and now they have a lot of regret or seduced by another person. They have a lot of regret. There was an interference and they are feeling remorseful about that. Okay. Very emotionally and unstable. All right. Let me see. Oh my goodness. I feel like somebody here wants to have uh, create a new a new energy with you and it's a three card also and a three is about communication harmony union advancement birth okay so i'm just getting this i want to can we try again i'm really sorry um it's just something to do with this clock some of you might get some type of communication around nine nine o'clock okay um let me see here there's definitely a yin yang energy between two people you and another person here okay let's see this is just regretting i feel like somebody here is looking at you like you have that empress energy um nurturing creative in that feminine soft yin type of energy maybe this person's more in the yang energy um all natural i'm hearing okay i just saw the ten of cups pop up it flipped and then it went back let me see i can't no cards are flipping so what's going on here just a matter of time progress clock is ticking All right, looks like we're gonna have to pull something. Ooh, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Pushy, demanding, overbearing, self-righteous, busy body bully. Somebody they were connected with, or who they either they tried to seduce them, or um, vice versa. It feels like there's a third party that was of a fire sign. Now it may not be for some. It could have been a Libra that was the third party and you could have been involved with a fire sign that's the leo card but also aries 
and Sagittarius. Okay, so it can go either way, but what I feel like is going on here is this Queen of Wands in the reverse, male or female energy, shows up as someone who's an absolute bully, um, very cold, aggressive, um, can be very dull, anger, has like a like an aggression, dis aggressive disorder. I'm just hearing someone who's angry. Um, somebody who is not yet ready. Oh, I don't even know what the heck happened, but that I don't like that Queen of Wands in reverse. It's just a real overbearing, self-righteous a-hole. <laughs> okay. Oh, Page of Swords. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Page of Swords reversed. So, okay. 100% a stalker. Nasty mouth. Nothing but bad news. It feels like there's a third party. Interference. And that's not going so well. Your twin flame, Virgo, got their ass handed to them on the karma on the karmic platter that's what I feel like is happening right now and this person is you know like full of regret for either allowing someone to inter interfere or for you know that's just it allowing someone else to interfere in a twin flame connection right lesson learned that's really what the twin flame energy is about lessons learned they might have hooked up with someone or there that, that maybe that you know of or there was an attempt and whoever they had a bad judgment call in regards to whoever this person was that they were trying to hook up with so now there's a loss because you have risen with the empress energy male or female it does not matter the empress is like feeling good abundance building and that's how they see this person's at a loss they're they're in a losing position okay what's this yep and as soon as the opportunity arises capricorn taurus virgo they're gonna make some type of a offer to have a new beginning with you it has something to do with this clock the tick tock of the clock <laughs> maybe they connected with someone on tick tock i don't know um, but this is like another cycle that's coming around again here because this person, you know, they thought they, I feel like they thought that the, whoever that was that was interfering in a connection, they thought that this was the opportunity they weren't going to miss for some reason. Maybe they were seduced and they thought that, oh, okay, well, crazy attracted to that person. But unfortunately, it, yeah, see, the Hierophant, <laughs> hmm. this, whoever your person is, whoever this person is, they thought that that was going to be the one for them. And I'm telling you, it, it's not working out here. Okay, they connected to this person maybe on social media as well. All right, that, that person that they were connecting with. Okay, I'm just going to give this slight message here for some of you. Your person went for the hookup and the person they were trying to hook up with or just get some kind of, maybe they have an attention disorder, whatever they were trying to get from that person, that other person took it seriously and thought they were extremely interested. Like I said, it could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or it could be a Libra, could be a Taurus. This person, that other person, the third party, thought that it was going to be something and your person i feel like n changed their mind also um because they didn't want anything that per that third party stalked the f out of them was nasty had that sword up that page of swords in the reverse is the worst this is just someone who is bringing bad luck bad karma okay and that's kind of sad i know some of you are like no that's not sad all right, let me just take a look at your energy here, Virgo. Okay, so you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I feel like any kind of reach out from whoever this person is, Virgo, is going to be an unwelcome 
It's going to delay you and set you back. I, some of you are like, no, nope, you made your bed, go lay in it. You know, I, I, that's not all of you, but I do feel like some of you with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's kind of like, nope, this is not, this is not a lucky strike for me, lucky star here. This is, this is bad luck. Um, because Virgo, I feel like if somebody's reaching out, it's gonna have you stuck back in that rut of some sort. Things are gonna—it's not favorable to you. And I feel like either you know that, or spirit is trying to tell you that you know this person with these three cups spilled—they might have cheated like three times. Which, I mean, really, like—is that kind of like some type of disorder or something? For someone to cheat that many times, three times in a relationship, like what the hell is that? That's not even, that's like mental illness right there. Okay, <laughs> Virgo. Oh boy, yeah, you're just trying to balance things, you know, in your life. You don't want the up and down, the roller coaster. And I feel like that's what you feel like this will be. Cause you don't, I don't know, you don't trust or you just know you're done. You know, this person, feels like the same story it really does look at you have two twos and they're both maybes you know I think that you know any kind of like somebody coming in and giving you that you know I'm really sorry I mean that's a lot of crap really I just feel like I have to tell you that you know you might have been dealing with someone who is very immature because they're looking at you with that empress energy like the empress is not immature the emperor the empress is a grown man grown a woman okay um, it's not a, a child. It's not a, not a girl, not a boy. That person that you were connecting with male or female was more so in the energy of someone who was, you know, like a immature person in an adult's body, you know, and I just kind of feel like for you, you're just trying to like get your sea legs. You're trying to stay stable. Um, you might just call a stalemate truce. Just be like, you know, it's a painful decision for you, but you're not taking back somebody because you, you're torn. Like I see you here being torn about your person and a third party situation or many. We got threes happening a lot here. Um, more than one person messing around this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Might have just been like sowing their seed left, right and center. They might have gotten you pregnant. I know a lot of you guys are a lot older. Um, some of the females, this could be somebody connected to you who's going through this also, but um, there might've been a child involved or some children and the marriage too, and stepping outside of the marriage or the relationship and just bad energy. Yeah, look, you've got the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're gonna be the victor in this situation here. You're gonna get some clarity because I feel like some of you, might kind of like hmm, him and and hawing a little bit. I don't feel like like your mental state because I feel like your mental state is clear. Your emotions though, you might have like, cause look at all this water back here and all this water back here. Your emotions might have some kind of an effect on you, but I feel like your head is, you're gonna have that breakthrough, realize the truth, you know, um, cut through the bull and just kind of get yourself in this state of like, you know, my heart may want it. The heart wants what the heart wants. Can't help that. But your head is like, no, bad idea. Bad idea to go back just because someone is sorry if they got caught. And now they're sorry, that's even worse. But if they're not caught and they're coming back because they realize they've got this loss, you know, Virgo, it's up to you what you want to do because you do have a decision card. Both of these cards are decision cards about a partnership, which is a two. Okay. Um, there are going to be choices, but I feel like that Ace of Swords is kind of like an, a light bulb moment. Like ding, ding, clarity or what you want to do here. And the clarity is this is too much of a burden for you to carry. Okay. That's the clarity the stress, the problems, the weight that gets put on your shoulders. <coughs> Hold on, I have to get a drink. Oh, I hope I'm not making like weird sounds, but the, um, it, it's just, a, it's an uphill battle. 
with someone feeling taken for granted, I feel like that's the clarity, despite how you feel. You know, even if somebody comes in with those bloody stumps, and I talk about that all the time, you know, I still feel like you're like, you know what? Thank you for coming in that way, but man, that's just too much for one person to take on. Too much for you to take on. That twin flame journey is not easy. Yep, you're just going to go with rest and peace and just dip out, just disappear. I really feel like you're going to give somebody the cold shoulder and just kind of be like, you're not doing it. You're still recuperating from all that stress and feeling overwhelmed. You just want to be left alone. You want this person to leave you alone. You may not want to be left alone by somebody else. Okay, but I do feel like along with the loss, you know, I mean, this person I feel like is going to, you know, come in and try to flirt with you or say they want to date, you know, are they asking for forgiveness? Like, are they just coming in with, oh, I messed up, I made a mistake? I mean, what is that? Like, okay, fine. And <laughs> let me see, what is this person coming in with? Okay, temperance. All right, this person's coming in with, you know, I want things to come back together. This is soulmate. Have a harmonious relationship. Why? Because they need their anxiety to be relieved, right? So a lot of times people come back not because they've learned a lesson, but because they, their anxieties are so bad that if they just talk to you and you give them a pass or you just communicate with them, it'll lessen their anxiety because this person can't seem to manage their anxieties and their stress, their fear, their unhappiness. They got to just keep running from person to person. It feels like when they're unhappy or they have an inability to cope or face struggles within themselves or within a relationship, um, they have guilt, remorse, and regret. They come back and they're like, will you please forgive me? Or, you know, can we bring things back into balance? And then you say yes. And then their anxiety disappears. And then the cycle repeats again. Once they start feeling better, you know, it's, it's like the kid that falls off the bicycle, gets a scrape on the knee, comes back to mommy, gets the band-aid, and doesn't learn that they shouldn't have been speeding into the tree and they should be more careful. They get right back on the bike and then bam, it happens again. Okay. So obviously here's your card, Virgo. You have the hermit. Okay. Are they going to come in and try to do this? Yes. What I see is it's just going to be a cycle repeating. That is part of why the clock is here. I feel like this is more about bad timing. Okay, and also the twin flame journey, this person needs to have self-awareness. They might have mind blindness. They might not even realize that the things that they do are offensive or are hurtful, which tells me there's some type of um, maybe generalized anxiety disorder or something that goes on with them that is not anything you can fix. Okay, this person, I'm sitting here with the higher font. This person needs like, I don't know, they need to go to Jesus, sit down at the altar. I don't even know. Go confess their sins. I don't even know. Whatever it is, go talk to a professional. You know, that higher font. I mean, they might even say that to you. No, I need to go like, uh, I'm going to go like, I'm going to go find Jesus. I'm going to go talk to a counselor. You know, or someone a prof going to some kind of institution. I don't know what's wrong with me. And Virgo, it's like, I feel like your energy really is like, go ahead. Good luck with it. Leave me be. Because <laughs> that's really, you know, that's what it's got to be. Because you can't fix anybody. And, and even if you have a degree, you're a psychiatrist, psychologist. You shouldn't be trying to, like, this ain't your patient. <laughs> So, you know, send them on their way. Go get healed. You know, I feel like this is just a matter of this timing. It feels like a timing thing. It's something. 
yeah there you go four of cups like you're you're like no you're like becoming or you are indifferent to what this person is going through i don't think you're being mean but it, it just feels more like, you know, this is just unfulfilling for me. And, you know, running around with different people. Um, if you're that easily seduced, then there's something wrong with you. Like, where's your, your backbone? Where's your strength? Where's your integrity? Where's your loyalty? Where's your honor? You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Let me see what the love messages are here. Romance angels, talk to us. Talk to Virgo. I mean, you guys do compliment each other, but this person's got a problem. It just feels like they have a problem that needs to be sorted out. And that might just be something that you just need to say, like, I am not taking the cup that you're offering or the opportunity. You need to go get some help. And if you want to get some help and, you know, you want us to both talk to somebody, that's fine. But this, I'm just not, I feel like your energy is like you're not taking somebody back willy-nilly just because they're sad and they need mommy or daddy to put a band-aid on them. Like, all right, let me see. Okay, yeah, flirt, extending lighthearted energy. This, this person is a flirt, Virgo. This person is a flirt. Cancer. Um, now if you're in, listen, you guys, if you're in a relationship with someone and it's really good and you have a happy, healthy relationship, you got no problems Then I'm just going to assume that you're in the chat or you're listening to this reading because you're just passing the time until dinner <laughs> or you just needed something to listen to. Um, if you know that your relationship is good and you guys just have the basic everyday problems like, you know, somebody left the cap off the toothpaste again or somebody didn't pick up the mail like you asked them. Those are those are the problems you should be sweating over. Not cheating, you know, not infidelity, not betrayal and lies. OK, you got someone here who is a big flirt. And they flirt for attention, they extend, they come off like real lighthearted to a lot of people, and then they get easily seduced, and then they screw up their relationships. And they just can't seem to, like, I don't know if there's like some kind of addiction here or something, or like I said, they have like an attention disorder. Um, they need that, or attention deficit thing going on. They need all that attention. Okay. Engagement's here in the reverse. So, I mean, engagement is here. And I feel like maybe some of you were engaged and broke it off. Um, this person might offer that. And I feel like with the engagement in the reverse, no, because they're flirting and they're just trying to lock it down. Could make it harder for you to like leave if they do it again. I mean, Virgo, I just kind of feel like some of the message is really strong. And it feels like similar to that blood moon reading that I did. Like you may have to like free yourself. There you go. Slam that door shut. I don't like, you know, I like to give happy messages. I mean, I find them more enjoyable, but I also like to keep it real. And I feel like some of you are holding on and waiting and you're like doormatting yourselves, taking somebody back who, not all of you, uh, don't get mad, I'm just a messenger, but some of you might be like doormatting yourselves and taking somebody back over and over and over again, <clears throat> who is just, they have, like they lack boundaries or something, or they just want to be a, uh, they're like a player, they just want to play. Now they're regretting it though, I can tell you that right now, they're regretting something big time. And that might be the loss um, because you're like you, I feel like they see you. You may not feel this way about yourself, but they see you in that empress energy. Okay. Or you could say the emperor, whichever, you know, someone who's respectable, um, strategic, a leader, someone who's all about creation is a good parent or a good grandparent or a good step parent, you know, whatever it might be, you know, full of abundance and they're regretting that. It's like, don't know what you got till it's gone. That's what I keep hearing. All right. What are your messages of love? Oh, 
boundaries. There you go. Firm boundaries are needed now. Here you go. I said that yesterday. Um, and here you go. Why do you need those boundaries? Because this person is unavailable to give you what you want, to give you all that you deserve coming in this way. Does that mean later they could? It's possible, but don't be sitting by that clock, Virgo. Wow, you know, passing the time waiting for someone to get their shit together because they might have a change of heart while you're sitting there waiting for them to come home and they might run off with someone else and now you've lost time. Time, time, time. You need time. It takes, this whole situation takes time. You've got to move on and get going with your life. All right, the relationship can is moving towards sacred union. So at some point, you know, is there hope for this person? I think so. I do feel like there maybe needs to be a conversation that you need to have with this person. And, you know, if they're coming back in with this loss, you can say, like, look, I'm, I'm sorry, but you created that loss for yourself. And, you know, I'm not carrying this burden of your issues. You have to sort them out. You have to unburden yourself. And the, for the opportunity to go and get some help, yeah, absolutely. But in the meantime, Virgo, does that mean you should go out and date every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Nancy, Sue, and Peggy? No, unless you want to. But for you, it looks like more so about you getting in your healing, your recovery, to keep doing that healing work that you're doing here, needing that solitude and mental rest and peace of mind and quiet sanctuary i'm hearing sanctuary wasn't that a song sanctuary that's an old one the cult i can't remember um just it just gave me that it actually i'm not even hearing the song i'm, I'm seeing the guy from the video that's how old i am <laughs> and y'all are right here with me so i don't even want to hear it let me see Okay, denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. I feel like you got to deny somebody here, you know? And if you if you can't, then you need to detach with love. You don't have to be mean. It feels like you're going to detach with love so that you can just actually see. Like I said, take your emotions out of the situation and look at the facts. Look at the evidence because that's all that matters. You know, the love will always be there. If you love this person, but they're misbehaved, you know, the love will always be there. It's not, you know, that once you love someone, this is my take. Once you are, once you love someone, love does not go away. It doesn't fade away. It may just kind of minimize as time goes on if you're not together anymore, but true love never fades. So it's not so much about the love as it is about, is this person a emotionally available to you because if somebody's a flirt and they're out cheating and, and acting on those flirtations and let and flirting with others and letting them know um by way of their flirting that they people are gonna anyone who's on the receiving end of somebody who is flirting with them who is with someone the one on the receiving end is going to be like, oh, you must be single because what asshole would do that? <laughs> what person, you know, and I'm not talking about flirting as in casual social. Um, I'm talking about emotional and emotional cheating, emotional flirting, um, sexual flirting. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And that, let's draw a fine line between that. You know, um, you could work in sales and flirt a little bit with your customers because you're just trying to get the sale. That's different. You know, I'm, I'm talking about flirting because someone's trying to get in someone's pants. That kind of stuff, that just opens doors and I'm giving you my personal opinion. I think it's like, you gotta be able to draw lines in the sand with people. Know what, you know, you gotta know when to flirt, and know when not to. <laughs> Let's check out these um, Chinese signs. Okay, year of the goat, year of the horse, year of the dragon, year of the ox, year of the tiger, year of the rat, year of the pig, year of the goat again, here the tiger again and dragon again i said dragon right no wait did i did i say yeah i did um oh my gosh i'm getting all these doubles i had ox you're the snake okay 
I think that should clear that up for you. So that's either, if you're new and you don't know, that's either your Chinese sign or it is your person um, or it's none of you. Okay, so take that with a grain of salt. All right, let's get some names and see what's going on here. What names? What comes up? Names, other signs, other messages, qualifiers. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, somebody's name is Victor or Victoria. I feel like that always comes up. Um, something happened around fireworks or during a time maybe in the summer where there was fireworks or someone was at some kind of or, or there's just I'm seeing I'm seeing like a tiki torches or fireworks or things like that I'm picking up so I don't know if that's going to resonate for you or not um, somebody wears funny pants <laughs> I feel like someone has oh man here we go with this clock stuff again okay a couple of messages um, all right, first of all, all right, I'm getting the number 62 and also uh, somebody wears like, uh, or is there, I'm just seeing like checkered pants of some sort. Maybe, you know, it could be some kind of pattern on some pants. It's somebody like either someone's wearing right now. Um, and I'm also picking up someone has a stopwatch or one of those old time, yeah, like watches, one of those old vintage watches. Somebody, there's also someone who wears like loafers, brown type loafer shoes. Um, and I'm also getting somebody is in like workout gear, maybe with a headband, okay. All right, so they're just telling me all right, they're giving me three times. Hold on. Okay, so we have eight o'clock. You have four o'clock and nine o'clock. Okay, eight o'clock, four o'clock and nine o'clock. I don't know if they're AM or PM, okay. And then also eight, four, nine. Okay. They just said to say that maybe that's what they were trying to say. Okay. Oh, mm, someone's a referee <laughs> in a sports kind of game, like a ref or someone does something as a ref uh, on a field. Okay. Okay, I just heard Jersey. Jersey. So I don't know if that's connected to a game, like a sports game, like a Jersey, or it's the state or some town or city, okay. Okay, somebody's favorite song is, they're just giving, well, I don't know, they're giving me this song, so I don't know if it's a favorite song, maybe it is. It's Wild Horses. It's called Wild Horses. Let's see what I'm picking up here. All right, somebody, all right, I'm seeing a bedroom with glow-in-the-dark stars, or a room. Sorry, glow in the dark stars. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm also getting, now I'm not sure if this is pan, like maybe somebody's cooking with a pan or doing something with a pan. Okay, somebody's doing something with a pan. Maybe like a cook or something, does something with pans. And then I'm also hearing um, somebody's taking a nap or needs to take a nap or just woke up from a nap. 
Okay. <laughs> you need to take a nap. Virgo, go, go upstairs and lay down. Go take a nap. You need a nap, Virgo. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Um, somebody's getting a lot of wind where they live right now. Or there will be a lot of wind, like a windstorm of some sort. All right, let me see. Okay. Uh, are you eat? Somebody's eating rice right now. I just saw somebody eating rice, and I'm also getting um, someone is 48 years of age. I'm not picking up a lot of names. Let me see. They're giving me other things. Okay. Um, someone's name starts with an S. I just heard that. Okay. All right. And now somebody has a, a glass bottle with a ship in it. I'm seeing a glass bottle with a ship. You know, those ship in a bottle kind of things. <laughs> Also, um, someone's looking at purchasing like a green coat, like for winter, I guess, where it's cold. For, the, for those in the cooler areas. Okay. All right, I'm picking up the number eight. Very significant. The number eight. Okay, I think we're gonna make this the last one. All right, um, I'm seeing someone working on some art also, or doing some type of creative activity where there's an overhead light or like a spotlight. Okay. Um, all right, there's a name coming through. All right, oh, okay, well, so they're showing me Someone who has blonde hair and wears like reading glasses or glasses. Okay, blonde hair and glasses. Oh, what is this name? It keeps wanting to come through. It starts with a G. Gwen? Gwen or Gwyneth? Gwen? Gwendolyn? Gwyn, something like that. Okay, they say get another. All right, we have a letter P, um, and they just they just told me Peking, like like a duck, Peking duck, like food. I know you guys talk about food <laughs> in here all the time. Maybe somebody puts pineapple on their pizza, ham and pineapple, like Hawaiian pizza. I just heard Hawaiian pizza. Mm, that sounds so good, actually. Um, somebody's getting a salary increase. Yes, salary increase, big one. Okay, a raise, salary increase, big bonus is coming. And um, somebody has a, a plant in a blue and white vase. Plant in a blue and white vase. Okay. Hmm. I see a crescent moon. I know we're going to get that full moon. Um, lunar eclipse on the 8th that I'm seeing a crescent moon. I don't know if it looks like that right now. Uh, today's the seventh as I'm making this, but I don't know. Or maybe it's a half moon. The next half moon is gonna be on November 16th. Okay, so let's see. All right, that's gonna be the last one. Somebody's 32. I'm also picking, or, or it's just, well, it has to be, somebody's 32. And I'm also picking up the date uh, 23, or number 23. 
or 823, 1984 as well. Let me just get some. All right, Capricorn, Leo, Double Scorpio. We have 1980, 1973. Okay, September 6th, significant. Um, somebody likes to ban 311. We also have um, September 7th, 6th and the 7th. Okay, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Um, so we have September 17th. Um, we also have the 23rd. Oh, okay, they're giving me 801 or 810, specific number. 310 and 317, okay. I'm also hearing somebody is born in October, okay. Um, also, August 26th. Did I say 1970? I'm not sure if I said that or not. Okay. And also somebody is 39 or is turning 39 as well. All right, let me just get a couple charms and then we're gonna be done here. Oh, what the heck? What's all this going on here? Okay, so you have a... Okay, we have a, a Bambi or a reindeer. We have a rose and there is a parakeet. Okay, now I'm feeling like this parakeet, there is a song, there's a song. Maybe you're listening to a song or there's a song that's going to remind you of someone or another person is listening to a song that's gonna remind them of you during this um, month of November. Also, there's a, a, a red rose on a stem, so you might be receiving a rose or sending a rose. Could be an emoji, could be an actual rose, just one red rose, or the word rose is connected to you in some, some way. You could be just sniffing a rose right now or you see a rose somewhere. And also, there is this reindeer. Well, it's a deer, it's a fawn. So maybe you'll see one, a fawn, not like a, a buck or anything, like an actual baby deer, a baby a doughy baby deer. So I'm just hearing my cousin Vinny. What is with that? Why did I just get that? My cousin Vinny, Marissa Tomei, Joe Pesci, something connected maybe to my cousin Vinny. I don't know, I'm out of my mind. That's from left field, okay. And then also something maybe about winter or you live in the mountains or somewhere where there's a lot of deer or something about the holidays if you have those animals around you somewhere. Okay, this message was interesting. I'm just gonna leave that there. Hopefully that will, at least maybe, hopefully it's fun. Let's hope that it's just fun. Hopefully you guys are all in very happy, healthy, loving relationships and everything's going well and you're not stressing. Um, but if you're not, and this reading stresses you out, then don't come back and listen to it again because it's not meant to. It's just meant at the end of the day to just give you a little bit of entertainment and maybe some clarity about where you are, about where other people are. And at the end of the day, again, for you to just stay focused on what you need to do for you, making your life as happy and as prosperous and as abundant day at a time, every little bit. Okay. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. All right. Bye.